Hey family, uh, today we're going to read Psalms 27. So let's jump in. In verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When ev evil doers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war rise against me, I, yet I will be confident. One thing I have asked of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent, and he will lift me high upon the rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy, and I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, seek my face, and my heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. Hide not your face from me. Turn not your servant away in anger, O you who have been my help. Cast me not off. Forsake me not, O God of my salvation, for my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord uh, will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out violence against me. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord and be strong. Let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. David is in a mixed feeling of fear and hope and probably more fear and anxiousness. Uh -huh. Man, and have you felt fear this week or anxiety or stress? I know I have. Um, nervousness just around things that we can't control or a future that we don't know what's going to happen to um man and we are in good company this morning with david and even better we are known by our great high priest jesus and so to start with david similar to psalm 63 that i did a devotional on a couple days ago david runs to god in his anxiety and his fear um, and he says, one thing I will ask of the Lord, one thing I will seek, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to dwell in his house all the days of my life. This is such an encouraging heart to me because I don't always turn to this place, but it's such an encouraging heart to remind me to where to run to in my anxieties and my fears. Um, because he says, let, let your heart take courage. You know, he says, wait on the Lord. Not, don't wait on your own strength or your or for me, don't wait on my own reasoning and logic to figure something out. Um, but wait on God's faithfulness and grace. And then with Jesus, like he is, Hebrews says he's a great high priest who can sympathize with us in our weaknesses. And that is true for where you are at. Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. And, it, and he actually did what David just told us to do, where he says, come to God. Jesus regularly came to God. And he said, on the night he was going to be betrayed, a couple days before he was going to be crucified, he says, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. And nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And then, and then it says, there appeared to him an angel strengthening him. And while the angel was strengthening him, he says, being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat became like drops of blood falling down to the ground. This is an anxiety and a, and a fear that I don't know, but Jesus does. And so I know that he sits with you and me today and he says, I know. He sits alongside of us. He doesn't just tell us to stop feeling, but he feels with us. And... He actually has says that he has defeated death and that he will wipe away every tear and that he will, and, and, and the Bible actually talks about that he will uh, give us courage and give us strength that we don't have on our own as we abide in him. I love the commentary that 
my Bible said about this. Um, in Psalms 27, it says, God is good and the goodness of his grace, it, the goodness of his grace overwhelms fear to the point of making us joyful worshipers. God's beautiful presence comforts the abandoned, vindicates the falsely accused, and makes brave the cowardly. He is our hope this morning. He is the one I want to abide in, and I'd want to call you all to abide in him with me. Um, a few questions to ponder as you read Psalms 27, or if you end up reading Luke 22 about Jesus' account. Who or what do you turn to, or have you been turning to, in your anxiousness, in your fear, in your anxiety this week? Um, what And, and would, would you consider taking your heart before God and laying it all out before him? And then asking him to actually speak and asking him to say, God, can you give me a heart of courage? I believe, but help my unbelief. Would we be a family that, that goes to our father this week? Love you all.